In this video, we're going over tips and tricks on how to improve your battery life on the Samsung Galaxy A11. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're gonna to walk you through a few tips on how to improve your battery life on the Samsung Galaxy A11. For our first tip, we're gonna turn on a feature called Adaptive Battery. Now, this feature is going to allow the phone to learn your usage patterns and adjust the battery according to how you use the phone to help you stretch to get throughout the day. So, you're gonna swipe down from the top, swipe down again, and look for a power mode right here. Hold down on power mode, and turn on the adaptive power saving. Now, just to read the description, it says, set the power mode automatically based on your usage patterns to save power when it's not needed. So this is just gonna give you the best balance of battery in the times you use it the most and help you stretch throughout the day. Now, the next thing I wanna show you here is the, the different power mode options that you have. So there's balanced, there's medium power saving, and there's max power saving. Now, if you don't use your phone for a lot of things like video or GPS or gaming, you can put your phone in the medium power saving mode and this will automatically extend your battery life for a few hours a day. So I would encourage you, if you don't use a lot of those intensive battery um, features I just mentioned, just go ahead and put it in the medium power saving mode and that's already gonna help to stretch your battery for you. And this is even showing you, this will extend the battery from you know a day to a day and a half. So just by making that switch. So that's our next tip right there. Now there's a few more things that I wanna show you that will you know, vary based on how you use the phone, but I wanna show you them. So if we swipe down from the top again, and then we swipe down, you'll see your brightness bar at the bottom here. You can use this to manually control the screen's brightness. If you tap on this arrow, you can turn off a feature called adaptive brightness. Now what adaptive brightness does is, it will make your um, brightness level fluctuate depending on how much light is in the room that you're in. You walk into a dark room, the screen lights up really bright. If you walk into a really well lit area, it will adjust to make sure you can see the screen. The problem is there's a sensor in your phone that's constantly judging how bright or dark the room is and thus it's using up quite a bit of battery power. If we turn off adaptive brightness and you manually control the brightness of your phone, this will give you a little battery life back. So now all you need to do if you wanna adjust the brightness of your phone is just swipe down, swipe again, and either turn it up or turn it down based on how bright you want the screen to be. You controlling that feature manually will save some battery life for you. Okay, let's move on to our next feature. Now, a lot of people are not aware of this. Um, so GPS and Wi-Fi tend to drain your battery. Most people just leave it on all the time, but I don't, and here's why. So just to give you an example, if you have Wi-Fi at home, that's great. When you're at home, your phone will automatically pick up your Wi-Fi. It'll save you a little bit of data on your plan. The problem is when you leave the house, your phone is still constantly searching for Wi-Fi networks. This is using the battery. It's constantly looking to see, oh, is there Wi-Fi here? Is there Wi-Fi here? So what I like to do is I like to turn off Wi-Fi and I will then turn it back on when I get home and I'm actually using a function on the phone that could use Wi-Fi. So if I'm just texting someone, guess what? My phone doesn't need Wi-Fi to text. If I'm making a phone call, my phone doesn't need Wi-Fi for that. Now, if I'm trying to watch a video on my phone, then guess what? I would turn on the Wi-Fi because now I want my speech to be faster to make sure that the video loads quick and I don't have to wait. So just by you manually controlling your Wi-Fi, this will help to stretch your battery because your phone is not constantly looking for those Wi-Fi signals. The next thing is gonna be GPS. Are you a person who uses your phone to look up directions? If you use Google Maps every day because you're going to different places every day, then what I would tell you to do is turn off your GPS when you're not using Google Maps 
and just simply turn it on when you are gonna look up directions. This way, once again, your phone is not constantly pinging GPS and using that battery power. You might say, hey, I work at the same place, I go to the same place and I go home every day and guess what, I don't need GPS because I know where I'm going. Then for you, I would just say, well, just turn off GPS and only turn it on when you need to look up directions to go somewhere. That way, once again, your battery and on your phone is not using up all this extra power constantly searching for a GPS signal. So those are two big ones there. The very last tip I recommend, swipe down, swipe to your left. If you turn on dark mode, this will change all your menus from the white, which tends to drain a bit more um, of battery. If you change it to dark, the background is gonna change to a solid black and this uses less battery power to produce and therefore it'll also help to stretch your battery. So these were just a few of the main tips I'd recommend to help stretch your battery. Do us a favor guys, we'd love to hear how this goes for you. Leave a comment down below after you've made some of these tweaks and you've tried your phone for a few days and let us know if you felt this helped you stretch your battery so that you can go longer or if it didn't help at all, we'd love to hear from you. But I guarantee you making some of these tweaks are definitely gonna get you more battery power throughout the day and you won't have to charge your phone as often. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Also, uh, below in the description of the video and in the comments section, you'll see a link to a couple of things. One, we have a playlist of a ton of other A11 videos that might be helpful to you. So check out that playlist. It says, Learn My A11. And there's also a list of our best accessories for the A11, our recommendations. Looking for some cool accessories to go with your phone? Check out that link as well and you'll find some cool stuff to go with your phone. Once, 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 once again, hope you found this helpful. Like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, take care, and as always, have a good one.